Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I am going to show you how to create a CRUD operation using MongoDB. Okay. So what is MongoDB? MongoDB is an open source NoSQL database management program. NoSQL is used as an alternative to traditional relationship database. NoSQL databases are quite useful for working with large sets of distributed data. Okay. So in this screen, you can see that I've created a four flows where I'm creating create, update, delete, and read function. Okay. So this functionality I'm going to show you now in the noted screen. So if you are new to the channel or if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly subscribe. So without wasting time, let's get started. So initial step is I'll be taking an inject node where I need to trigger the functionality for insertion okay after that i will be taking one functional node so in this functional node i will be passing the collection name and the data which i need to store into the database okay so i will be creating one object here message data is equal to brackets here so this is an object so to this object i will be adding a collection name message data is equal to sorry message dot collection is equal to a collection name that is node red so this is my collection name so where i'll be going to store the data after that message dot payload so in this the data will be there so i'll be creating some sample like name okay after that anything like city or a location so i'll be taking the city here so after giving the details click on done so i'll be taking a mongodb node A drag and drop here so here is my connection details localhost demo is my database name and already passed the collection name node red so no need to add here so after that I'll just give the connection connect to the function node with a mongodb okay connect it and we will be selecting insert okay and we will take one debugger node so that you can see the responses okay so basically this create functionality is completed now So first step is completed so we'll go to the second step now that is find or you can say it is a read okay from the database so same way i'll be taking its timestamp i'll be taking function node so here also i'll be passing a collection name okay so same way we will create object here so same like collection name will be node red So click on done after that we have to take a mongodb node so it will be a find here operation click on done and add one debugger node so second flow is also completed 
this is a read method or a read flow so we come to the third part now which is update click on done so same way we will take a function node here so in this function we have to give some conditions like like basically not a conditions but we have to do some update query side so we have to pass the id okay so before that i will give the mongodb connection here so it will be a update method coming to the coding part here same way we will create an object here the new thing is we have to pass the query to find the particular data and update it message data dot query Okay, before that I need to add a collection so I'll be adding this collection name message data dot query so basically in this query I need to pass an ID so currently I don't have any ID value so I'll just clip it as blank or empty string okay once we insert the data so we can use that id to get the data okay or update it so finally message data dot payload so i need to that pass the object here That is name and a city which was used while inserting I'll take this object and pass it here the one thing I'll be changing it updating it that is location or a city from Pune to Bangalore So that's it click on done so third floor is also completed so last step is delete click on done take the inject node take the function node So same way function node will be like just create a collection or add the collection name here after that add the mongodb node and select delete operation or remove operation basically connect it here and add the debugger node to give the see the responses so flow is completely down so need no need to make any changes here click on deploy so we will start testing this flows now so when i click on the create functionality so here you can see that data has been inserted okay number of records is one and the data has been inserted successfully into the mongodb database so you can see that data has been reflected here okay we can see the data so after that we'll come to the second functionality click on trigger okay we can see that <coughs> we have fetched the object 
the data which is stored into the database and third step is we have to update it correct so we are updating the city name from Pune to Bangalore so we I am passing the ID here so basically we will update this object from city Pune to Bangalore so click on the trigger function trigger here so you can see that modified is equal to 1 so that is we have modified the data successfully refresh it here you can see that the data has been updated okay and the final step delete functionality click on trigger so you can see that n is equal to 1 and ok is equal to ok is 1 so that is nothing but the data has been successfully removed from the database I hope you understood this functionality how FRED operations works in MongoDB okay thanks a lot guys for watching this video hope you like this content kindly do subscribe like and comment down below if you want more videos like this thanks thanks a lot guys